Well, g'day LIT, my name's Tom Batty, and welcome to Teaching Target, our method at LIT of making sense of a passage. The first in our five part series is context. So, what is context? Well, put simply, it is all of the information that is around a passage, everything. Now, this is important because if we get context wrong, then bad things happen. My favorite example is from Romans 14.2. It says, the weak man eats only vegetables. Now, what happens if we get this passage wrong? Like suddenly we raise up an army of like pious vegetable Christians. Worldwide broccoli sales would plummet. What are you gonna put in your superfood green smoothie? Like no more kale. See, context is important. We've gotta make sense of all of the information around the passage as our first step in teaching target. And the way that we do that at LIT is with a few simple questions. Let's start with who. We ask who wrote this passage that we're looking at and who did they write it to? Once we've figured that out, then we can move to where. Uh, now let's go the other way. Let's go for when. When was this written and what historical things were happening around the time? Then we can ask, what piece of literature is this that I'm looking at? Is it poetry? Is it narrative? Is it apocalyptic literature? Is it a Christmas card? Then once we've nailed the what, then finally we can ask, where does this fit? Firstly, where does it fit in the story of the book that we're looking in? And then secondly, where does it fit in God's big picture of all of the history of the world? That's what we do for context because context is making sense of all of the information around the passage. Because once you understand the big picture, then you can make sense of the little details. Catch you later.